RT, we love to shed light on some of the stories that usually don't make their way to prime time. Well, it seems that we have a story that's been gaining steam. Ron Paul's quest for the White House using an unorthodox delegate strategy is getting noticed finally, and the RNC is getting nervous. According to a report in the Las Vegas Sun, a letter was delivered to Nevada's GOP chair. The RNC's chief counsel said that if Ron Paul's delegates get too many seats, the entire state may not be represented at the convention this summer in Tampa. Paul's supporters are racking up victories left and right, and that could complicate Romney's anticipated inauguration. He's already won a majority of the delegates in Iowa, Minnesota, and Washington, and now his campaign is also organizing victories in Louisiana and Alaska, where one of Paul's supporters was just elected as Alaska's Republican Party chair. So will Ron Paul cause enough of a stir that could upset the entire convention? Here to join me now is Mary Willison, volunteer organizer and Ron Paul supporter. Hey, Mary, I heard that you just met Ron Paul last night. Tell us a little bit about it. I did, yeah. Um, there was a rally at the um, Cal State Fullerton in um, S Southern California. I guess it's near Anaheim and uh, or Orange County, and it was a beautiful turnout. We I helped volunteer and registered thousands of new Republicans uh, into the party to vote for Ron Paul in the June 5th primary, because uh, we have a closed primary here in California, so you have to be registered by May 21st deadline in order to vote in that primary. And Ron Paul's support is growing. The momentum is uh, incredible. And he's having these uh, town halls all over the country. And day after day, tens of thousands of people, uh, thousands of people are showing up all over to support him and hear what he has to say. And the media is still not covering it, most of it, um, because what he tells you in his town hall events is the truth. And that's the stuff you're not going to get on television. What do you think about the, this fear-mongering coming from the RNC saying, you know, if Ron Paul wins these delegates, then don't show up? I mean, that's pretty interesting. Oh, the, they've been making bold statements all along, and in a lot of different states, um, the GOP officials uh, have been up in arms against the Ron Paul supporters who are just abiding by the rules and um, following through and just, you know, there's, the rules have been set up not by Paul supporters, but we're getting elected to the positions that do make the rules, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah, he's almost playing a, a game of chess here, and Romney's kind of, you could tell he's getting scared. Uh, talk a little bit about what happened in Massachusetts where Romney was governor. Uh, well, in Massachusetts, a portion of the delegates will go uh, proportionate to the popular vote, but another portion of the delegates do not. And uh, also, I mean, as far as I know, the people who showed up, who act actively participate and want to make positive change are, in general, mostly Ron Paul supporters. I think Romney, the people who support Romney support Romney because he's, they're, they're, they're told to. Whereas the people who support Ron Paul do it because the man is a patriot and he's really standing up for the American people and fighting for us and has the track record of 30, 40 years doing that and you can look back and you can see that so the support is really authentic and it's also very organic and I don't I, I don't even know if you know the Ron Paul campaign even knows how much support they actually have at the grassroots uh, ground level it's amazing uh, as it stands right now Mary uh, Romney has 847 delegates and Ron Paul has 80 um, what, is, what do you think, how many delegates do you think he, he is, expects to gain out of the states that are left? And do you think that he really has a chance at the convention to pull through? I think he does have a chance. There's still a long way to go. A lot of the primaries and things that happened, straw polls and stuff, were non-binding. So it is the delegate process, uh, which has been Ron Paul's strategy all along, was to promote the delegate process and get the uh, grassroots, uh, get the Ron Paul supporters out there and becoming active, getting elected and things like that. Um, I think that the 844 or whatever delegate tally that they're giving you is completely false, especially since so many of those states haven't had their conventions yet. So uh, the Associated Press, which is a media pyramid scheme, uh, you know, they 
report and, and expect it to trickle down to everybody else reports the same thing, they're not accurate and we've been lied to by them before and unfortunately there's a monopoly on uh, the majority of our media here and you know you can just trace it back and find out that the same people manipulate other industries and monopolize a lot of our industries here and especially banking which is one of the ra main reasons why so many people support Ron Paul is because he's exposing the whole system this whole banking system that's uh, bankrupting so many millions of Americans it is interesting, Mary, that the, you know, the press that you're talking about likes to call this a coup and that Ron Paul supporters are playing these uh, you know, games that are upsetting the election when, you, as you said, um, he's just playing by the rules that are laid out. Um, could you talk a little bit about what, what are the role of superdelegates here? As far as I can tell, superdelegates are usually uh, spots filled by people who've been in the party for a long time, maybe they're a, a chairperson, a central committee member, or a local a GOP official, an elected Republican or something. So those spots are usually, it's like a, a Ron Paul supporter may not be able to get that position because it's an establishment GOP's uh, seat that's going to get it. Um, I don't know if they have any strength in their vote. I don't think their voting power has any more strength than any others. And I think that Ron Paul's people are getting elected to those positions, so soon they'll be the superdelegates. It is interesting that Ron Paul's uh, guy just got to the head of the Alaska uh, chair. Um, and it is yeah, upsetting Iowa the RNC well. all, all across the board. Talk a little bit about, you know, Gingrich, Gingrich just dropped out officially. Where do you think that his delegates will go? Have you heard anything about that? Well, I think I mentioned it before that uh, the thing about these delegates are that they're people. So, and, and one thing I can tell you about most of these people, these delegates, is that they're pretty tired of being taken for granted. So we don't even know where they're going to go or who, who these people are. Uh, but I think that the people who get involved in this whole delegate process are patriotic people who care about making a positive change for our nation. And like I said, we're going to fight it out on the floor of that uh, RNC. And people will be... Uh, you know, that when they see the strength and the numbers of Ron Paul's supporters and that he really does have a chance. And if people would just, you know, tune off, tune out of some of the television and tune in a little bit to the Internet and understand why it's under attack right now, why we've got so many laws and legislations trying to be written to limit us and to, to limit our Internet freedom, uh, people would see there's a whole lot of information out there. And like I said, Ron Paul's strength is growing and they're completely trying to black that out. But um, he, he really can win. And he's, I think that Romney is absolutely no threat to Obama. Like I said, they, they ha there is no contrast between the two of them. Romney is, you can call him a moderate, but I would say he's a liberal. I'd say he has the same uh, views. He's supported all of the same things that Obama has done while he's been in office, and including he, you know, uh, the National Defense Authorization Act. He said he would have signed it as it is. Uh, he supports the Federal Reserve banking system. He supported the bailouts. Everything... Uh, he's he's, Mary, he's let the me, same. He's not a part of the solution. Mary, I just wanted to ask you one question um, about last time you were on here. I asked you, you know, would you support Ron Paul if he chose to run Libertarian? If by chance he didn't get the nomination at the convention, um, in you know, in the Ron Paul group, a lot of people that I've talked to denounce the the two party. Some could call it a two party dictatorship or this corporate controlled uh, party system that we see. So why? Why would any be, anyone be opposed to branching out of that and running third party as a last kind of hurrah in the game? Well, it's funny you say that because I think that the whole two-party paradigm, the left-right paradigm has been fractured and there's a crack and people are seeing right through it. And for a lot of people, it's been shattered. And I don't think Ron Paul needs a party. I don't think any party has to make him their official nominee or whatever. I think the support for Ron Paul is exponential and uh, whatever it takes if he wants to run third party I don't think that that's in his agenda um, I think that we have a very strong chance of re uh, winning in the Republican Party and I believe that yeah it, the whole concept has uh, changed for a lot of people and they're willing to 
get in there and become a Republican just because Ron Paul is a liberty Republican. And like I told you before, there's a lot of people running uh, in support of Dr. Paul and policies and that are going to you know, liberate so many Americans, mm -hmm. that are going to make us financially free, individual, personal liberty, things like that, that matter he so definitely much. Has, uh, That's what made America great. He definitely has uh, put an interesting twist in the election. We'll definitely be following that. Thanks for coming on, Mary. That was Mary Willison, volunteer organizer and Ron Paul supporter.